Good afternoon, everybody. This is Dr. Myra Saucedo, and I'm making this video for my English 1301 students. Uh, it is an online class that uh, is, originates from the University of Texas Permian Basin. And I am talking to my 1301 students to let you know I'm trying to catch my classes up today. It's been an unusual semester for uh, a lot of people, even before um, the coronavirus. Uh, I had a lot of uh, physical therapy for an ankle that I broke when I broke and shattered into three places when I slipped on a wet tile. So I've been doing that, got through that, and uh, was going to catch up during spring break and two days before spring break I was given an additional online class so I have five uh, with at least 20 students in all of them so I do have uh, a lot of students uh, and I took over that course uh, for a teacher that wasn't going to be able to do it and it's an intensive eight-week course that started in spring break and I had like 15 hours of prep work to do on a Friday before that class started on Monday and I've got other people in a good place now so I want to tell you uh, don't stress uh, we're in this together and I'm trying to help as many people and teachers as I can. I got up at 4 a.m. this morning and I'm still going and will uh, usually be online till 8 at night. So I am doing the best that I can and I don't want anybody to work. Second paper that's coming up, we do have some wiggle room with the uh, um, due dates and I'm looking at that right now trying to make sure that things just don't pile up at the end of the semester because it could happen. I keep extending things as much as I can for people. Um, some people have problems getting internet access uh, with schools closing and um, everybody going online and uh, I'm, I'm working with everybody uh, uh, with the book clubs. I am not sure what happened, uh, but some people posted at the last minute. So if you had a major post at the last minute, you had no time to respond to anybody. Nobody had any time to respond to you. I am going through and grading everybody that did it right first, and then I will reopen it for people to respond because that is about half the grade of the book clubs. The posts that I'm reading are very good. Uh, uh, people really read their books and uh, analyzed them from different perspectives of a reader and a writer, which is critical thinking. So uh, I'm looking at that and for paper two of uh, people had trouble getting interviews with people because you procrastinated yeah uh, um, yeah that's that's my uh, watcher too so procrastination and you might not have been able to get an interview with people you can do phone interviews FaceTime uh, emails probably not the best because uh, people think about what they have to say so much they make it sound real stilted uh, so what you want to do when you interview a person that does some kind of writing on the job find out what percentage of writing they think they do on the job ask them what their writing habits are do they just type do they write jot down things on sticky notes uh, do they have to have a legal pad and a pen do they procrastinate is a good question ask them how they write what kind of writing they do and it's really great if you could get a sample of their writing. Uh, in some professions, you won't be able to get a sample because of confidentiality reasons. Um, so I understand that. But if you can and include that in your paper, get a paragraph from them, uh, you might have noticed in the modules, I have put uh, interview 
with a science writer, also called Dr. Chaco and Rocks. It's in the modules as a sample paper that was actually written by a freshman student who is now making money having every time that textbook prints another edition and her article is used, she uh, gets money for that. So, uh, yeah, yeah, write for publication, do it for fun and profit. Uh, there's a lot of reasons to write. And your first paper, the literacy autobiography, was about you becoming a writer. The uh, writer interview with the person who does writing on the job paper, paper two, is about somebody else who does writing. And it's great if you could pick somebody in the field that you're going to be in if you have direction, sense of direction, if you already know uh, that you want to be a veterinarian or a nurse or whatever, uh, you should interview somebody that is in a field that you want to go into because it would mean more to you and give you a concept of how significant writing is in just about every field. How accuracy matters. Um, it makes a big difference in the medical field. Right now, the medical field, if you haven't done your interviews, uh, they've got no time. So, uh, if, if worse comes to worse and you haven't done your interview, you can interview a family member who does writing on the job, uh, a teacher, coach, uh, somebody you know, and you can do it by, by phone. So people can keep their social distancing. It's a whole lot better if you went in person to their office. I hope some people did that uh, and didn't wait. And you have your interview set and you're ready to write. So uh, describe what the person looks like, what their office looks like, if you have any telling details uh, and their writing process and how they feel about it. Do they like writing or do they feel like it's a chore on the job? And what percentage of writing do they do on the job? So I will be looking at the final weeks of the semester and setting up the other papers. So if you stayed on course, stay on course. Please, please don't don't wait for me. I'm, I'm getting in there, uh, but don't don't fall behind. Uh, we only have so many weeks, uh, and I am going to be working past uh, the last day of class, and I think you will still have access to the class for a week after. I'm going to find out uh, when final grades are due. We'll find out. I'll be finding that out tomorrow, uh, and I will be in there the last minute I can helping people. So I don't want anybody to stress about points or anything right now. Um, and just keep going, keep going. And I'm watching, I have read some papers, especially literacy narratives and put grades and feedback in that are not showing. I have five students in two classes right now that I have to go fix that first. And then I will start moving on to the other things because, oh my goodness, you know, that, that was February that, those grades shouldn't be showing up. So I am fixing what I can. Be detailed and interesting in your papers. And I will talk about the final weeks and um, at how we're going to do the papers in the next video because I'm already about reaching 10 minutes and I don't want you to wait very long to get this. So I could spool it up quickly. So I will also put the video in the announcements box, but I will send it around in our, your Canvas email first. So everybody take care, take care. These are tough times, I know it. Um, you've got a lot on your plates, and so do I. I it's kind of overwhelming right now. I'm just pedaling as fast as I can. So hang in there, and I'll see you next time.